Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Bria Stokes, and this week in Tabletop, we have a lot of exciting news for you all. This week is about results. Libby, one of the largest glass tableware manufacturers in the world, has reported results for the fourth quarter and full year 2015. The company also announced that it has revised its reportable operating segments. Net sales in the U.S. and Canada segment were $497.7 million in 2015 compared to $482.1 million in 2014. Villaroy and Bach recently reported 2015 results with annual total sales increasing 4.9% and operating EBIT growing by 9.6%. Their strongest revenue growth was in the Americas region where their revenue improved by 21.6% to 38.3 million euro. If you planned on taking part in the host 2017 trade show, you might want to put a pep in your step as 21 months before the doors open, 50% of the available fairground space has already been taken up. And what an event host 2017 promises to be with a whole array of new features. In what will be the 40th edition of the fair, there will be a greater focus on certain emerging sectors to make the range of things on offer more complete for those operating at all levels and in all the sectors covered. International Women's Day just passed. Ross and Katie had a great episode of Building 46 discussing how restaurants and various operators should be approaching women when it comes to craft beer. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the newest Building 46 episodes. Recently, Pete Dukas from Govino joined us in studio to give us an update on this very cool brand of plastic beverage ware and their new Govino Resort series that has been engineered to handle the rigorous demands of the professional hospitality industry. They've got a cool patented thumb notch and contoured base crafted from a shatterproof, lightweight, crystal clear, BPA-free polymer. We recently uploaded the interview to our YouTube channel as well, so check it out. One of the more amazing stories in hospitality tabletop continues to be the expanding presence of rack porcelain. Coming on the heels of the host Milano show, where close to 75% of what rack porcelain showed in their booth in Milan was new. They introduced even more new products at the recently concluded Ambiente show in Frankfurt. In the period of approximately six months, Rack Porcelain has introduced a minimum of eight totally new full collections of dinnerware and buffetware and entered a new category, cutlery, with eight totally original designs of high quality. 18 to 10 stainless steel flatware, impressive indeed. Lastly, the product news just keeps coming with Royal Crown Derby's new Broadway collection, inspired by the timeless and iconic fashion, architecture, and design of the 1920s. The Broadway tableware collection will be available later this spring. Dudson took the classic idea of a plate with a floral rim and gave it a fresh perspective with their new spring floral design. Libby also is making a debut with their chemistry bar collection, including five styles of uncommon shapes of glassware that are versatile to use preparing drinks or creating the boldest presentations. If you guys want to read more about all the newest and coolest products in Tabletop, head on over to tabletopjournal.com and soak it all in. Well, that's it for us this week in Tabletop. I'm Bria Stokes, Tabletop Matters, and we'll see you next week.